Okay, I talked about hip extension patterns before and what we use with our young hockey players. We talked about our wall hip hinging, our double arm, double leg, straight leg deadlifts, and our one arm, one leg, straight leg deadlifts. Now what I want to talk about is what we do from a supine or on the floor position for hip extension exercises. And one thing we like to get done is we want to use our glutes to be the primary hip extensor in all the exercises that we're doing while we're on the floor. And what we usually start with is a basic glute bridge. And for us, feet are together, knees are together, hands to the side. We're gonna exhale and we're gonna drive our hips up, hold for a second or two, back down. And what we're doing in that exercise is trying to emphasize the glutes contracting to elevate our hips. We will get some hamstring exercise, um, hamstring recruitment, and we will also get some low back recruitment. However, the glutes are the primary hip extensors here. And once we get proficient with that, we will use that as an activation exercise, and in some cases, a strength training exercise. In my opinion, I like glute bridges. We do them all the time. I think that they're a beneficial exercise for helping our athletes maintain hip extension with all the sitting and low position skating that we do. So when we're proficient with the glute bridge, we'll get into a ball hip extension and we will utilize this exercise in our workouts. And here, We'll have our feet on the ball, same thing. Thinking about exhaling, all the way up, back down. Again, we will get some hamstring co-contraction. However, the primary emphasis is on strengthening the glutes. And then when we get better at the ball hip extension, we might spend a three to four week cycle doing those exercises, we will progress to a ball leg curl where, same thing, exhaling, hip extension, using the glutes, and then curling the ball to our butt. Now those are just some strength training exercises that we do during the program. This is different from our glute activation exercises where we might progress from double leg glute bridge to a one leg glute bridge to a one leg glute bridge on an unstable surface. But this is what we do for double leg hip extension patterns for our younger players. With our more advanced guys, we might get into slide board leg curls and ultimately the glute ham raise. Uh, but for young kids, we kind of stick to the ball leg curl as um, the, the top of the chain.